I want to thank everybody who has been watching this uh, series of videos on Ted's woodworking and uh, I want to apologize to people who really aren't interested in it. Uh, I will get back to my regular mere minutes <laughs> videos around the shop here uh, soon, but I think this is pretty important and I'm also sorry about the kind of the the random nature of these because there's so much information it's it's really hard for me to put it all together in, in a short period of time but what I want to do is once I am kind of done with this little bit of it I think what I'll do is try to somehow condense the information into one short video that I can post on Woodworking for Mere Mortals channel which will reach far more people and hopefully uh, get the word out a little bit better and not be as scatterbrained as these have been, okay? I really want to uh, thank uh, Jim Berry, copywriters sharing information. Jim Berry uh, and some people have done all sorts of research into where Ted's woodworking has obtained all of these plans that he is selling. And I printed out the list of companies that are affected. And he's got this list on his website. I'll link to it. Uh, right now there are, let me see here, 237 <laughs> places that Ted's woodworking has been getting these plans from. Uh, and most of that is illegal. What Ted's doing is certainly illegal. And even if uh, a plan is freely available on a website does not give someone permission to copy that plan and then sell it as part of a compilation. It just doesn't work that way. So yeah, Ted is, is ripping people off and in uh, violation of the law, which is why it is so impossible to get a hold of Ted because there really isn't a Ted. I don't know if you saw the picture I posted, Ted of Ted's woodworking, Ted Woody McGrath, is actually just, he's a stock photo. <laughs> so there are multiple websites, woodworkingforhome.com, which claims to sell 14,000 14, uh, plans. When you go there, they're identical to the TEDs and the sites almost kind of look the same. So this huge web of, of TED <laughs> that, and I think that I have this feeling he's like this, this like Dr. No kind of guy sitting on some island somewhere going, <laughs> I'm selling illegal plans and nobody can catch me. <laughs> it's all made possible by ClickBank. And you know, I'll just come right out at this point and say that ClickBank is totally compliant with everything Ted is doing. Uh, ClickBank seems to have no interest in following the policies that they state on their own website about copyright violation and providing email addresses and contact information. Uh, I would say they are one in the same. So let me show you exactly what is inside of Ted's woodworking and the videos that he offers. Uh, one thing that's interesting is I spoke to one guy and the login and password that he had is the same one I got. So I think it's the same for everybody. There seems to be no distinction. So I got to the premium membership area and what's the first thing you see? He's still trying to sell me more stuff. It's all about sell. I, I still haven't gotten to the actual 16,000 plans. Where are they? Download links. So now we've got, oh my gosh, there's zip files we can download. Uh, other downloads are, oh my God, look at all of this. Okay, so here are the zip files that you can download. They're rather large. I would say, you know, like this one, woodworking plans, 1600 pages zip. Okay, so here it is. What it is, it's a massive PDF file. Let me let me open it. Okay, so this here is the biggest of the PDF files. Uh, thousands of woodworking plans and designs in one great CD. Well, of course, I didn't get the CD. It's just a download, but real quickly, they're not alphabetical, they're not organized in any way. Uh, if you'll look through these, you can see that some of these are, well, most of them are kind of old, black and white. Uh, let me see if I can quickly scroll through to something in here um, that shows plans. They, they look like they're hand-drawn, uh, you know, drafting <laughs> plans. Uh, when he says, you know, download the blueprints, I thought that was funny, but no, it's they are literally blueprints. I think I can still smell the ammonia on those. So this is what it looks like. It's completely unorganized and the plans are ripped off. Now a lot of those plans are from like the Missouri Forest Department from 1956 and something like that, which obviously they're not gonna go after this guy for <laughs> stealing anything. 
But according to this list, and according to some of those plans which you can see, there are companies like Ace Hardware, American Woodworker Magazine, DIY, DIY Network, uh, HGTV, Lowe's, there's a lot of stuff from Lowe's, uh, Minwax, Rockler, oh gosh, Popular Woodworking has been affected a lot, Shopsmith, uh, these are just a few, Wood Magazine, of course. The list goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> A lot of those are just scanned directly out of old magazines. The funny thing is, is some of these plans are actually just assembly in, uh, instructions from like knockdown <laughs> furniture and that sort of thing, which would be totally useless. Like having assembly instructions from Ikea or something, <laughs> what can do with that? I don't know. Now, of course, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why don't these companies go after Ted? And I'm wondering that myself. I think that if, if some of these companies kind of grouped together and somehow provided a unified force, they might be able to do something. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, T Ted is impossible to get a hold of because he's, well, Dr. No out on that island somewhere running this empire of his. But I'm sure there must be a way of getting a hold of him somehow. And if you are one of these companies, um, why not step up and do something? You know, take a chance. I don't think it would take that much, actually. I think that uh, you could hire a, some sort of investigative lawyer or something for just probably in a few hours, a, a competent, techie kind of guy could track this all down and get a hold of him. And really, by shutting down tedswoodworking.com and I think Woodworking for Home, there's about four or five of these kind of mothership sites. By shutting those down, you're eliminating thousands of other sites because they're all just linking to that one site. So w without, without Ted as at the hub, none of this could exist, I think. Or have some balls and contact ClickBank and ask them what's going on. Even if you can get a hold of ClickBank, they're as elusive as Ted. So if you're a big enough company, and want to take this on, if you need any more information, you contact me, there's a lot of other people you can contact about this, you'd be a hero. You'd be a hero to every woodworker, every woodworking community on the planet, all right? I'll give you lots of publicity if you can tackle this one. Now, about the videos that Ted uh, offers on his website, his exclusive videos, he claims there's 100, over 150 exclusive uh, videos. Well, I counted them, there's 118, and of those, there's about 10 or so that have dead links. They don't even work anymore. And what they are is they're just uh, links to YouTube videos. <laughs> so nothing illegal going on there. He's actually, he's linking and embedding a bunch of really bad woodworking videos too. I mean, why isn't he linking to woodworking for mere mortals, you know? <laughs> okay, so now I wanna get to uh, ClickBank. ClickBank, I contacted them via their chat, uh, if you have a, a problem, complaint, something like that, and uh, they issued me a refund for my TED's woodworking plans, but I wanna show you the transcript that I took a, a screen capture of, uh, of that chat. Now, a couple of people have mentioned that that may not have even been an actual person, that that's probably a robot <laughs> who I was talking to, which really makes me kind of mad also. But I look at that and I kind of think, yeah, it's probably so. It probably is set to respond to keywords such as refund from Ted's Woodworking, and it just automatically does it. My theory is that ClickBank does not want to rock the boat with Ted's Woodworking.com because he's pretty much a cash cow for, uh, for, for ClickBank. And I don't seem to be able to get through to ClickBank at all to register a complaint about this, and they just kind of blow me off and say, "Oh, okay, we'll take your consider, we'll take your complaint under consideration." So I'm issuing a challenge to ClickBank right now. If ClickBank should happen to see this or something, I want you to explain why you keep somebody like Ted's Woodworking on your site. Basically, you are giving credibility to piracy and theft on your site. Yeah, I'm accusing you of that. Now, I haven't gotten my money yet. It's been a couple of days, but I assume, I don't know, it's the weekend now. I'm gonna give it till Monday at least to see if uh, I get my money refunded. If I do get my money refunded, I'll send back the money to the people who sent me money to help me out to buy these plans. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. But if they don't refund the money, then I'll go to PayPal because PayPal also has a fraud. Uh, you can get a refund for that. And I think PayPal, I probably should have done that in the first place, gone to them and see if they could deal with this too. Uh, so 
I don't know, this isn't over yet. I still want to, I will post the other video. One of the things that, that I'm kind of struggling with is how to even get people to find that video because Ted is very clever and what he's done is he's, he, a lot of these affiliates of his, when they, they post a video or anything, they call it. Uh, is Ted's woodworking a scam? Or is this for real? This sort of thing. And that would be kind of what I would call this video. And so it would just get lost in the shuffle. So I think by, by doing that, he's kind of smart because he's, he's taken out all these websites that are called Ted Scams. And what they are is they just, you know, sell Ted. I don't know. If you have suggestions on that, let me know. But for now, you know, this is kind of where I'm going to leave it. Um, uh, you know, I probably will revisit it some more, I'm sure. Uh, but, I don't know. Thanks for watching this whole thing. If you did sit through it at all, I'm, I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> uh, talk to you later.